All right, guys, welcome to episode number 72 of the Code Hangout Show. In this episode, we'll continue from episode number 71, in which we were building the Snapchat camera, okay? And it works like this. It's very, very simple camera with minimalistic design. And we have the shot, the shutter button, we have the flash, and we have some um, gesture recognizer. We can take a photo and we can shoot a video. After that, maybe we can double tap into the screen and we'll see the uh, front and facing camera toggled. We can slide left and right to switch from photo to video. So let's get into this video. In this part, we continue from episode number 71, in which in 71, we take a photo. In this video, let's take a video. And then in the last one, we will configure some of the other features of the camera, like flash, like toggle the photo video features, all of those things, okay? So, in the else block of the snap button tapped, in this guy, we have a take a video, right? We take a video over here. So let's have that. Now the first thing is before we do that, I will just have a helper method and let's put that over here. You will see an application document directory. It returns an NS URL. This NS URL, it is the document directory of our app, okay? So we just return the NS file manager, default manager, URL for the document directory and then we'll put the URL to the return typed, right? So now we have the documents directory so that we can save the video to our phone, to the documents directory, okay? So let's check a video. The first thing is we sh should check if the camera is recording or not because taking a photo, taking a video is different from taking a photo. Taking a photo, it's just a straightforward process, right? Taking a video, it has two states. Number one is it recording the video. Number two is stop it, right? So if you are recording the video, then if the user tap this nap button again, then we should stop the video recording. If the user hasn't been recording the video, then if we tap into this nap button tapped, then we should start recording, right? It's just two states of the button. So first we want to check if the camera is not recording, is not recording, then now it's time for us to record it. Let's record a new video. Otherwise, we will stop the camera recording, right? So let's take care of the record a new video first. The first thing is when we record a video, let's hide some of the buttons like the segmented control. We want to hide that. Segmented control dot hidden equals true. Um, we have the flash button, flash button, hidden also true. And we have things like the switch button, switch button dot hidden is also true, right? And then we have the snap button, snap button dot layer dot border color. So I will change the color of this snap button, which is the button that we take the photo or video into something like red color so that it clearly is that we are taking a photo or video. I'm sorry, a video. So let's have UI color dot red color dot CG color because we assign to the border color of the layer, right? This thing is, is a CG color. Next off, let's have the background color of this snap button, snap button dot background color, background color to be a UI color dot red color. And then I want to change the alpha of this color. So I will use color with alpha component into just 0 0.5. So it is a little bit uh, opaque, right? So the next thing is, let's start recording this video. So let's start recording this video. The first thing that we'll need is an output URL. The output URL here is, let's have this, let's output URL equals this will equals to our documents directory. And then we're appending maybe the name of the file, which is 
uh, something like my video with the extension of the file like .mp4 or .mov. Okay, so let's have that self .application documents directory. This is the method that we write below here. Okay, I already write these for you. And then we have dot URL by appending path component. So we have the path components. Let's say we have video and then we call it URL by appending path uh, extension. And the extension here we use a string called MOV, which is movie, right? The uh, files that you see all the time in from your iPhone dot MOV. That is exactly that file. And now we want to do self dot camera dot start recording with output URL. And then we'll pro pro uh, provide this output URL over here. So now we have the camera starts recording our video. Okay. But the camera will just start recording that and just continues to record that until until when the user clicks this snap button once again then it's that time for us to stop the camera from recording and then we'll save everything back and we'll also show the video in the preview screen to the video view controller so let's do that <clears> the <throat> first thing is Segmented control dot um, hidden is false because now we stop recording. Then let's sh bring back all of our controls. Flash button dot hidden equals false. Maybe we should put all of these into one method, but that's okay. Let's have switch button dot hidden is also false. So we just did the opposite of these three lines. Okay, and now. Let's bring back the color of the snap button. So we have snap button dot um, layer dot border color equals to UI color dot white color. And again, this is CG color. So we we'll have to provide the CG color. Next up is our background color for this snap button. So let's have the snap button dot background color equals UI color that white color and again I will use the alpha um, color with alpha component here is 0 0.5 because we want it to be like a uh, see through the scene right the last thing the last thing here is we'll call a method called for on the camera called stop recording and then when we hit the stop recording we'll pass in a closure and this closure is a camera and then we'll have an output file URL which is the URL to the files that you want to uh, to to the file the movie file that this movie that we just record is saved and now the error let's have an error so we will check if error equals equals to nil if it does equals to nil then let video VC is video view controller right like that and we'll also set the video vc dot url to be our output file url okay so now we can from this file url in this video view controller it will use something called av kit av player embedded inside um, the av player layer all of these things you can have a look at that okay and now after that, I will do self navigation controller dot push view controller, and then we'll do uh, maybe video VC, and then animated is let's make that fox, okay? So now everything is set. After we save that, then we'll do the things. Otherwise, if we do have an error, then let's just report the error to the console. So print um, error saving the video. And then we'll have the error. One, two, three. And we'll have that quotation mark. Okay. So that's that. Let's play this. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's run this project on our device and see how we can, if we can now save and play a video. We can record a video and play this video back. All right, guys. So that is how you can record a video and play it back 
from your Snapchat camera. I hope that you enjoyed this episode 73 of our Code Hangout show. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel over here on YouTube and also go to Dictron.io and subscribe to my newsletter so I can send you the latest trainings in iOS development I created. So I hope that you enjoyed this. In the last episode of this series, 74, we will continue this journey and then we'll fill out all of the other things left, which is how to toggle the camera uh, screen right from the front facing camera to the real camera and then we'll do slide left and right to switch from left to a photo and right to video and then we'll do a double tap button double tap gesture recognizer so we can toggle between the front and the front, uh, rear camera so I hope that I will see you in the last video again check your inbox now because after that I will send you my new series, my new iOS training series. I hope that you enjoy that. And I hope that I will see you someday down the road in one of our programs in the next episode of the Coding Out Show.